Of course, Chelsea made other case styles, and besides the ship's bells clocks that we talked about, or the banjos that you saw a couple of clips ago. Uh, the, the catalogs are uh, reproduced in part in some of those Chan Du Lee books that we've talked about, but another nice thing is that either the original catalogs are available, or reprints of those have been made available by collectors or by some of uh, some interested uh, organizations related to clocks, so that you can find how your clock was described years ago when it was first made. The, uh, this was a, uh, a 1917 catalog in which you can find uh, mo all of the uh, models shown at that time, and even more important, how much they cost. These were not inexpensive clocks. Even back then, ship's bells clocks, big ones, they could be thirty, forty, fifty, eighty dollars, which was a lot of money in those days. So these clocks were not meant for working class families as much as either for commercial ship applications or people who had more money. This uh, 1911 catalog reprint, this is an original Chelsea Clock Company catalog from the 1930s. So you see some of the evolution, you see some styles that they made and then uh, gave up on, but they've never stopped making the popular models, the ship's bells.